Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. A few weeks ago we posted a video showing these turbo darts being shot and we had a couple initial failures with both of the rounds. And what happened was the intense G-Shock from the shotgun actually knocked the brass tip out of the aluminum body. And in simple terms we would call this the Newton's Cradle Effect. The energy wave transmitted up that aluminum body and knocked that brass right out. And those brass tips weren't just stuffed in there, they were designed with an interference fit and Tim used about 500 to 1000 pounds of brute force to push the parts together. Now oddly enough this Soviet Poliva bullet with a nylon body and a lead nose, very similar assembly design, just presses together with your fingers, yet it holds together perfectly fine when it's shot. So I would assume the nylon is a poor transmitter of that energy wave. Since we had recovered some usable parts from the first test, although the aluminum body is a little bent, I wanted to see if we could solve the separation problem simply by using some red Loctite thread locker. I used a large vise and put the parts between the jaws and press them back together and it took a lot of force. Now we didn't have any of the Sabo pieces left. They all shattered when we, in the first test. So we'll just stuff this in the end of a birdshot shell and note that that wadding has an integral kind of a shock absorber between the gas piston and the shot cup and that may help with our uh, issues. It's a little bent, a little wobbly and slight curve. It's loaded up without any sabos, sabots, 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 however you say it. Sabots. Okay, dart. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> it went straight down. It went straight down and it bounced in the field. <laughs> now the good news is the parts stayed together this time. The bad news is the overall flight was pretty dismal. Now remember the shaft was bent on the aluminum piece and we didn't have the Sabo pieces to help guide it straight down the barrel. And we also see something interesting here. I put a black mark on the end of the round and you can actually see it rotating at a pretty high rate. Now multiply that times about 40 and it gives you an idea how fast that little sucker is spinning. Research continues. Now those of you who are saying that Tim, the crazy machinist from Tactical G-Code, can't make a round worth a darn, you need to watch this video of him defeating level 3 plus armor with a shotgun round that he made. Thanks for watching.